Uh, hello, my name is Bart Brecca, and uh, I am going to build a bionic finger. One of the uh, engineers from Carnegie Mellon has been asking uh, some questions on the on the uh, MCAD Central Forum and the uh, uh, Pro Engineer Exploder, so I thought I would just build a video on one technique to build that finger. Um, the, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is build a, a curve, a rectangular curve structure that will help me parametrically modify the freeform surface geometry. I'm not going to worry about the size because it could be scaled. But uh, uh, I'm going to start out with another curve here <coughs> that uh, I'll make as a spline. And I'll align uh, the spline to each side. Typically when I build a spline like that, I won't build it with an internal curve point like that because that adds an extra piece of complexity to the geometry that uh, oftentimes I don't like to deal with. But uh, I did it in this case so I could maintain some parent-child constraints to my box. Something you don't think about when you model an alias. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, um, make a note that I've dimensioned my geometry kind of appropriately. Uh, that's the tip of a bionic finger, I, I, I guess you could uh, you could say. Now, if you'll notice, I've got this parametric underlying structure that I can sort of modify at will and uh, exercise the geometry to make sure that's going to work. I'm going to go ahead and create a revolve, and uh, <coughs> I'll do a geometry tools use edge on that geometry. And now I, now I need to define what's going to be the revolve function. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and leave that at uh, a 360 degree revolve. And uh, now I'm going to go into my surface edit tools inside of ISDX. Pretty cool stuff here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just kind of ditch that geometry and lock myself normal to the ed uh, current edit plane and just tug and pull on that so you can see how... Uh, how that how that's gonna be my index pointer geometry. Now uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and and slide my geometry. Notice I've I've done some freeform surface manipulation that ties down and still maintains its parent-child constraint, which is absolutely unheard of. I'm gonna come in here now and uh, and grab that geometry again. Um, and uh, I'm gonna dig dig and and pull those two points just a little forward to give a little bit of tension in the geometry. Uh, I'm going to go normal to a plane, but I'm going to change my edit plane. Turn my datums on here. And uh, I'm going to pull that relative to that datum plane to give just a little bit more tension into the geometry. Okay. And uh, there's a whole bunch of tools inside of there that uh, I'm, I'm not going to get into in this video, but uh, there you go. So there's my... Uh, now, now, if, when I moved those those two CVs forward here, this this geometry became disconnected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into uh, I'm I'm going to undo kind of what I did that last edit, and uh, I'm going to come in and now and and increase the number of fat. See if this first rung here got modified, that needs to stay vertical. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some rungs. I don't think that's the correct term, but uh, that's what I'm going to call it. And now I'm going to take these CVs, deselect these two here, and I'm going to move those CVs relative to this plane, normal to the plane. So now I'm going to grab those two guys and add the tension that I was looking for. I'm also going to take these two CVs here and deselect these two, and, and, uh, and I'm going to change my edit plane again, and I'm going to pull those normal there. That's cool. So uh, that, that, that type of modeling is called uh, um, CV modeling, I guess, an alias. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull both of those up now. I could, I could scale them inward, too. And uh, so there's the, there's the basic shape of my finger and uh, the completion of this video. Uh, again, if... Uh <coughs> if, if if you ever find yourself in Chicago, stop by the Design Engine uh, training studio and uh, take a tour. Um, 